Hello everyone. Welcome to Principles of Communication System lecture series. In this lecture video, we are going to discuss about noise in DSBSC receiver. Noise in DSBSC receiver. The model of the DSBSC receiver is using a coherent detector and this is the block diagram of the DSBSC receiver. So it consists of DSBSC signal S of T and unwanted signal noise W of T, band pass filter, coherent detector and coherent detector it consists of product modulator and product modulator, low pass filter and local oscillator. The filtered output is X of T. So X of T is the band pass filter output and band pass filter input is summer circuit output and summer circuit inputs are DSBSC signal and noise. The filtered output so we apply to coherent detector and coherent detector the main function of the coherent detector is multiplied with the cos 2 pi FCT. The cos 2 pi FCT is the locally generated signal. So cos 2 pi FCT is we apply to product modulator and band pass filter output we apply to product modulator. So output of the product modulator is V of t. So V of t is equal to x of t into cos 2 pi fct. Cos 2 pi fct is the locally generated signal. The V of t again we apply to low pass filter. Across the low pass filter we received the DSBSC signal. The DSBSC demodulated signal is Y of T. The amplitude of the locally generated sinusoidal wave is assumed to be unity. So this is locally generated signal. Signal wave is unity. For the demodulation scheme to op operate satisfactorily, it is necessary that the local oscillator be synchronized both in phase and frequency with the oscillator generating oscillator generating the carrier wave in the transmitter. We assume that this is synchronized as been achieved. So for example, in transmitted section, so local oscillator generated signal is 1 kilohertz and 2 volt peak 2 volt peak to peak amplitude. So in receiving side, we have to set the local oscillator signal generated signal is 2 volt peak to peak and 1 kilohertz frequency. We know that the DSBSC component of the modulating signal S of T is expressed as S of T is equal to C into AC into cos 2 pi FCT into M of T where the C is the system dependent scaling factor. The purpose of which is, which is to ensure that the signal component S of T is measured in the same unit as the additive noise component N of T. And AC is the carrier signal amplitude and cos 2 pi FCT, cos 2 pi FCT is the carrier signal frequency and M of T is the modulating signal. The average power of DSBSC modulated signal component S of T is given by C square into AC square into P divided by 2. So these are some relations of the average power. The first relation is average power of M of T is Pm is equal to m square into t. So if you want to find out the average power of any signal, we have to take the square. So m of t average power is m square of t. So m square of t is equal to average power of the modulating signal we represent in terms of p subscript m. The second relation is the average power of k into m of t, where k is the 
modulating k is the constant factor so we have to take the square k m of t square is equal to k square into m square t so we know that m square t is equal to p subscript m is equal to k square into pm the third relation is the average power of am cos 2 pi fm t is so am cos 2 pi fm t square is equal to am square and cos 2 pi fm t square is equal to 1 by root 2 square so here am square divided by 1 square root 2 whole square root 2 and square get cancelled remaining value is 2 so we get am square by 2 so am cos 2 pi fm t average value is am square by 2 the fourth one is the average power of k into m of t into cos 2 pi fm into t or fc into t is so we have to take the square so k m of t am cos 2 pi fm into t square is equal to k square m m of t square cos 2 pi fm into t square the k square you retain as it is m m square of t is equal to pm is equal to pm and cos 2 pi fm into t is equal to 1 by root 2 square is equal to 1 by 2 this is equal to 1 by 2 the average power of this equation is k square and m of t square is equal to pm and cos 2 pi fm into t is square is equal to 1 by 2 so the average power is k square into pm divided by 2 As listen here look at this so the power of the dsbsc modulating signal component s of t is given by c square ac square by p by 2 so dsbs we know that dsbsc wave s of t is equal to c into ac into cos 2 pi fc fc t into m of t so our intention is to find out the average power so here c is equal to c square and ac is equal to ac square and m of t is equal to m square of t is equal to p average power and cos 2 pi fc t cos 2 pi fc t is equal to 1 by root 2 1 by root 2 square is equal to 1 by 2 so s of t is exactly it's equal to s of t is equal to c ac cos 2 pi 2 pi f c t into m of t m of t in terms of average power is equal to c square a c square p divided by 2 the average noise power of the message bandwidth is w into n naught so this is the average noise power the average power is c square a c square into p divided by 2 we know that channel signal to noise ratio is average power of modulated signal divided by average power of noise in message bandwidth so already we derive the average power of modulated signal and we know the average power of noise in bandwidth now just you replace average power of the modulated signals into equivalent value and average power of noise in the message bandwidth into specific values the channel signal to noise ratio of the dsbsc modulated system is the snr channel is equal to the average power of modulated signal is c square ac square into p divided by 2 and average power of noise in the message bandwidth is w into n naught so if you substitute average power of modulated signals and noise noise in message bandwidth into equation we get snr channel is equal to c square ac square into p divided by 2 wo into n naught next we wish to determine the output signal to noise ratio so using the narrowband representation of the filtered noise n of t 
the total signal at the coherent detector input may be expressed as so this is the bandpass filter output the filtered output x of t is equal to s of t into n of t where s of t is equal to c into ac cos 2 pi f c t into m of t plus n of t is equal to n i of t into cos 2 pi f c t minus n q of t into sin 2 pi f c t so n i of t is the in phase component and n q of t is the quadrature component and cos 2 pi f c t is the carrier signal and sin 2 pi f c t is the quadrature carrier signal the output of the product mod modulator component of the coherent detector is v of t is equal to x of t into cos 2 pi f c into t so we know that x of t value and cos 2 pi f c t is the locally generated signal now you replace x of t into equivalent value after that you expand the equation using this trigonometric function so we know that cos square of t is equal to 1 by 2 into 1 plus cos 2 theta and cos alpha plus beta plus cos alpha minus beta is equal to 2 cos alpha cos beta and sin alpha plus beta plus sin alpha minus beta is equal to 2 sin alpha and cos beta so now you expand this equation after expanding we get 1 by 2 c a c into m of t plus 1 by 2 n i of t plus 1 by 2 into c a c m of t plus n i of t into cos 4 pi f c t minus 1 by 2 a c n q of t sin 4 pi f c into t so this is the output of the product modulator after expanding we get this so output of the product modulator so we apply to low pass filter so we know that low pass filter is passes only lower frequency here 1 by 2 c <coughs> ac into m of t plus 1 by 2 ni of t is the lower value comparing with the second term and third term and fourth term so output of the low pass filter is 1 by 2 c ac into m of t plus 1 by 2 ni of t so this is the output of the coherent detector so y of t is the demodulated signal is equal to 1 by 2 c into ac into m of t plus 1 by 2 ni of t so c is the system scaling factor ac is the carrier signal amplitude and m of t is the modulating signal plus 1 by 2 ni of t so ni of t is the in phase component the message signal m of t and in phase noise component ni of t of the filtered noise n of t is appear additively at the receiver output so receiver output is 1 by 2 c ac into m of t plus 1 by 2 ni of t The quadrature component NQ of T of the noise and N of T is completely rejected by the coherent detector. We note that these two results are independent of the input signal to noise ratios. Thus, the coherent detection distinguishes itself from the other demodulation techniques in the important properties. The output message component is unmulti. Un un Related and the noise component analysis appears additively with the message irrespective of the input signal to noise ratios the receiver output signal is the receiver output y of t is equal to 1 by 2 c a c into m of t plus 1 by 2 n i of t so n i of t is the in phase component noise in phase component and m of t is the modulating signal a c is the carrier signal amplitude and c is the constant factor the receiver output is 
1 by 2 C A C into M of T plus 1 by 2 N I of T. 1 by 2 A C M of T is the component message component and 1 by 2 N I of T is the noise. The average power of the message component may be expressed as the P average is equal to C square A C square P divided by 4. So this is the output of the system. So the message component is 1 by 2 C into AC into M of T. So in terms of average power, so it's equal to C square AC square M square of T is equal to P divided by 2 square. So 2 square is equal to 4. The average power of the noise at the receiver output is, so this is the noise at the receiver output is equal to 1 by 2 Ni of T. In terms of average power, is equal to 1 by 2 square into 2 W and not. So 1 by 2 square is equal to 1 by 4. 1 by 4. The resulting value is 1 by 2 W into N naught. So 1 by 2 W into N naught is the average power of the noise at the receiver output. The output signal to noise ratio for DSBSC is SNR output is equal to the average power of the message component by the average power of the noise at the receiver output. So we know that the average power of the message component is C square A C square P divided by 4. The average power of the noise at the receiver output is W N naught divided by 2. So simplify this. So after simplification, after simplify, we get C square a C square P divided by 2 W into N naught. So our main intention is to find out the DSBSC receiver figure of merit. The figure of merit is the figure of merit is equal to SNR output divided by SNR channel. So now, now you substitute SNR output value and SNR channel value and simplify this. So we get figure of merit is equal to 1. So SNR output is equal to C square AC square P divided by 2 W into N naught and channel signal to noise ratio is C square AC square P 2 W into N naught. So numerator and denominator is get cancelled. The figure of merit is unit value or is equal to 1. Thank you.